Hello there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome back to Legacy Studio. And guess what? We're continuing Mist 4 Revelation. And we just saw some interesting stuff go down in our last episode. I want to thank you so very much for supporting the channel by watching the videos and text messages coming in right when I'm doing my intro. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and continue this conversation really quickly by saying a humongous thank you to our Legacy channel members. Let me trigger this up here so that you can see our awesome Legacy historians, Tony Allen, Sean Hammond, and Jack Herman. Would love it if you would consider becoming a Legacy historian yourself. Support at the Legacy tier, and I love shouting out your names. And I also want to say a humongous thank you to all of our other amazing supporters, our Dor Dorka historians and our Early Access historians. They get access to all of our videos before you get to see them. You get to leave comments before anyone gets to leave comments. You get to help me get through these games when I get stuck before anyone else does because I release these videos sometimes weeks in advance to all of my Early Access members. Um, we've had upwards of a month and plus, um, and I want to make sure that you enjoy every bit of this and becoming an Early Access member or a Legacy Historian or a Dorka Historian is a super help to the channel, and I deeply appreciate it. We focus, 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 focus on making clean content for most ages. Um, there are a lot of amazing YouTube channels out there. There are, and you can see some really cool gameplays out there on those channels. When it comes to it, though, um, there's a lot of kids just randomly walking around YouTube, and I need to be one of those creators who has clean content. So if you catch your kid or young adult watching one of my videos, you don't need to fear about them hearing foul language. You don't need to fear about them seeing something they shouldn't. I want this channel to be a place with clean content, clean comedy, and as much as humanly possible. We still play some games that are more adult in nature, but when it comes down to it, I want this to be a cleaner place where you can count on us to get you content that's safer for your ears and your eyes. All right, my friends, we're back into it. Let's get this game going. While I'm doing this, I'll pop up my social medias for you here as we get switched over. Um, and please follow us on social media. That way you get notifications when we release new videos, and please subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. So we just stepped out of this book, which was pro most likely Cirrus's world, which has me a little confused because Akinar, I thought, was working on electricity, and yet we saw that we saw Cirrus and Akinar fighting in this world, and then we saw Akinar across the way over there, and right down here on the ground, there's a book. I'd like to go and see what exactly that book is. Um, I'm a little scared to, but at the same time, I think it's worth checking out. So we're going to go and check that area out first to see if we can get to that, to see if we've unlocked something new. If we have, then we'll go and uh, and see what we can do with that. Also, the more I see this whole rotating room here, the more I see this as not a prison cell, but a place to protect yourself. Because we can escape into this world and out of this world through this thing. So part of me thinks that if there's someone out here who's trying to get after you, if you're in this thing, you're kind of safe. So I can see that being kind of important to someone. And maybe that's why uh, Yisha ran down here and escaped into there the way she did. So in saying that, let's go ahead and go see what we can find now that we've seen Akinar uh, escape with uh, a book by escaping through a book. Not sure where he escaped to, but... Things are looking rather interesting when it looks like Cirrus may be trying to protect Isha. Possibly. Now, of course, you know that uh, Cyan is incredibly good at twisting stories. Uh, and considering that I am the king of all things Mist, then there may be a twist to the story that there's only one way to find out. And we're going to go see what we can find out now. So first off, where did this book fall? Oh, this is interesting. The ending has not yet been written, Tamana. That's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and click out of here. Oh, what's this? There's actually a story behind this. Let's see what this says. Thank you, my love. For what? For everything. For this. And for showing me again and again that no matter how many mistakes we've made, the ending has not yet been written. So they hold themselves accountable for what happened to the sons, I assume. So I'm assuming that the book may be somewhere down there. That seems more lit up than it was before. 
we did not have success getting down to there, mainly because the elevator was not accessible to us at that time because of the, those texts. That looks like a rather big book, actually. Much bigger than I would expect. Let's see if there is a way to get there, or see if there's any new information there that was not there previously. Also, now that I think about it, as we look at this, um, this could become a staircase more than a ladder. So I would be very curious if there's something that we're not doing right with this, because look at that, it kind of turns into a staircase. So what if that staircase could continue down in some way? Doesn't seem very promising at the moment. Anyway, um, let's see. No, that's not converting to a staircase for us in any way this way. There's no foot pedals or anything nothing different. I was wondering if that was like a button in the middle there, but I can't see that. Oh, look. Okay. Oh, look. Everything's been ransacked. Oh. Let me take a picture of this. So why are we having a palm reading in this situation? Interesting that we can see in here. I feel like that's a door back there. Akinar really went to town. Oh, hey. I knew you'd have one. Oh, look at that. Akinar's up to something. Let's see if there happened to be anything... I was so focused on this piece of paper that maybe I missed the necklace actually showing us something. No. Okay. You didn't mess with those at all. Is the crystal still in... What, what just happened? What just happened? Whoa. Oh, okay. So, that crystal hasn't changed. So why... I can't grab the book or the u writing utensils. It's moving in a weird way. Um. definitely Akinar is doing. Now, now here's my next question, though. Even though this is definitely Akinar's doing, what did we just hear just now? Has something moved? Why won't it let me into that elevator? Except for this. Interesting how there's a... Oh, 
Oh. I am a child of water. Head. Heart. Life. Offspring. Health. Get the hand facing this way. Well, according to this, my health stinks. My heart's good. <laughs> So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Does this represent the three houses? He knocked over the table. He stole one of the fish? Oh no, fish still <laughs> fish is still there. <laughs> I was thoroughly interested in what just happened there. That represents these three houses, somehow. Not sure how. See, and I come back to the idea that this could be a ladder of some sort, but it's not letting us go down that ladder if there was one there. So if he was in there, wouldn't he have also have come through here? This all seems to be in pretty good condition considering what he just did to that room. It's like he didn't even touch anything in here. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Okay. You know what? Before I walk away from this, I heard a weird sound. I know I did. And I don't know what that sound was, but I heard a sound over here. As I was inside here, something, something made a move. Now the elevator didn't move. And if it did, I don't I didn't know.
knew you'd have one. So maybe I do need to solve these different books. My other theory was maybe that there was a way to escape through the floor or something I had missed before because I was too focused on was too focused on the idea of see like what was behind this here the whole time you know why would he push this over and what's the point of the books that we can't read or even look at. What's the point of the glass floor? Can we move that in some way to go down? It looks like it would go down, but also the elevator would go down. I'm certain that this is an elevator of some sort that would go down if I just knew what books to push in. We don't have any information on what these books are. And when I've solved two of them, so far, none of them have any visual sense of what they actually say. So, I am leaning towards trying to solve more of the books here to see if I can find any more information on what they could possibly be. The next one would be S. S. And then looks like a... Either a J or an I. I'm going to call it an I. And then that large hump with a left stem could be an R. S-I-R. Oh, wait a minute. Cirrus. This one is Cirrus. I'm trying to get to it. Nope, not that one. That one is Cirrus. I don't see how it's two R's. Because isn't Cirrus spelled with two R's? Okay. So the third book is Cirrus. Possibly. As far as I can tell. The next book over, fourth, is A-Y, or I'm leaning towards the fourth being A-Y-Z, which would be a V, but with a raised stem. No, that doesn't matter with that one. So, A-Y-V, and then that leads to a T-H, pointy tip, no? So it could also be a, I'm gonna say T-H, no, I. That looks like an I. And then that comes up to another A-H, A-H-S, A-H-S. Avias, Avias, doesn't make any sense. You guys probably have solved all these and are like, dude, you are messing this up so bad, which I probably am, but what can you do? Fifth, it, you gotta start somewhere, right? Fifth would be L. No. Fifth would be a non-existent letter. An A. Fifth would be A. And then the next letter over would be what looks to be the same shape. A-O-O, -O, maybe? No. A-N? No, but there's a stem. There's a asterisk there. So, asterisk symbol would be O-O. -O. Could be an option. That's not quite the right symbol. A-Y. No, that's not the correct symbol either, because there's no stem. K. It's a K. A-K. 47, right? <laughs> How much you want to bet that says Akinar? AK, and then to the right. Hmm. That could be an O. I'm going to put it down for an O for right now. OS? No. OV? That looks like a. That looks like an AH to me. AH. AH. T shape, which could be I. Calling that an I. And then that symbol is a. R. I think that's probably Akinar, and I just really messed up on the symbols. So, part of me leans towards, if I can find the individual names, like, is Yisha on here? Because didn't we figure out what Yisha looked like? So my theory that I'm having right now is that if we can just find the names of Cirrus, Akinar, Atrus, Catherine, and Yisha, that's five. Bet you that might activate that. That's my theory, because that's the only five characters that we have in this whole game. So that's what I'm leaning towards. Um, so the quickest way to do this, honestly, the, way, the quickest way to do this might be to reverse, um, reverse engineer this. So if I was to write down the correct spellings for each one of their names, and then check that with the books, I might have a quicker result to find what I'm looking for. 
So let's do this. For the moment, I'm going to go ahead and click five bucks. And I'm going to go that one, that one, because those two are two of the names that I've been looking for so far, if this is how I think it is. Oh, pen cap. I've also just realized, and I'm going to go ahead and do this now while I'm thinking about it, is I'm going to step away from here. And I'm going to go double check my spellings of the names. So let me go ahead and go back up to the dining room, the kitchen or whatnot. I'm going to walk in here and I can double check everything because take a look. So Cirrus, dang it, I lost my pen. <laughs> My pen is not posting well. <laughs> Alright, um, so Cirrus is S-I-R-R-U-S. -R -R okay, so I think they did this on purpose because they're not expecting you to know how to spell the names. So this helps spell the names. A-C-H-E-N-A-R. Okay. This is probably the, the stupid proof way of doing this, and this is perfect for me. Because I second guess myself and how I spell stuff every single day. Atris. A T R U S. And Catherine. C A T H E R I N E. Kath, E-R-I-N-E. -E. Okay. And let's go around now to the other side. And Yisha, I already know how to spell. And I might just go ahead, since I'm here, and grab her correct spelling of the name over here on the book. Because she's been practicing her name over and over. So there it is right there. Um, okay, so. And Yisha. Okay, so while I'm here looking at this book and I can see it better than my own script, this might take me a minute. <laughs> might take me a while. But I'm going to go ahead and write out the, um, the names here and see if I can solve the correct spellings using this information here to see if I can uh, build up a proper alphabet for what I'm looking for here. I, I know I have it written down here, but I can't trust my own handwriting sometimes. Uh, Catherine's going to stink. Catherine. Uh, Kath e Rhine. So C. This is going to be fun. Uh, C. C, 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 C. There is no C. Don't tell me that. Because that completely destroys my whole idea. There is no C. So all I have to go with is A. TH, which we do have. TH, which is going to be... TH. E. Which is going to be that one. R. I. Where's the non-capital I? There it is. I. N. And then E. Right there. Okay. So we're missing the C there. But I have everything else there just in case. And then the final one is Yisha, which we've already gotten. I'm going to rewrite it again just in case. Y. E. E. S. H. S. H. A. Okay. So after a little bit of work on the bottom there, I have them all written out. Now, if I can go back and find the books, I don't think they need to be in a specific order. I think they just need to be touched and pushed in. I don't think they need to be pushed in in a specific order. So I'm going to go back now. And if I'm right, I'm going to be feeling pretty good about myself. 
And that also took forever. But <laughs> I think it's the right answer. So let's go back in here. The hard part is I see my scripting that I did here, but trying to find that scripting on the books in the same way I think is going to be a royal pain. So I'm going to hit these two for the moment. And then... Um, Right there, I think that one might be Yisha. Just looking at that symbol, I think that's Yisha. Mm, I might be wrong about that. Um, where's the longest one possible? This one here actually could be Catherine. That could actually be Catherine. Catherine Isha Atris. You got an Atris? Stem's going the wrong way on that one. It's nice when you start recognizing symbols. Not that it's absolutely helping me out right now, but yes. So that's an S. This is an S. If I saw another one with this symbol right in front of it, I would think that that could also be... Um, Atris is the one I'm having the problem with right now. This Atris is going to have a symbol kind of like that, but it needs to be in a coffee cup with a handle. Technically like that one. sense problem. That's a U and an E. U, E. But then that S is actually... Well, no, that's correct. That's correct. And then it... What does it turn into? What's that final one? That's E... S, H. I swear that that might be Isha, but... I can't quite see that last symbol. It's a two. A-H. That's Yisha. That is definitely Yisha. I drew that symbol wrong. That is Yisha. That is definitely Yisha. Now, what is this one? Right here. Because next one I'm looking for... I mean, I'll look for any of them. I don't care. I still think this one might be Cirrus. S-I... R U S So do they not do multiples? Because that's technically Cirrus. Akinar or Ak Achinar, whatever the proper way is to say that. That looks like it could be Achinar. Atris is the one that seems missing to me. Because if it's that, it's gonna be a cup and handle. And then it's going to be the number two. That has a cup and handle, but it doesn't have the number two. None of these do. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three. I've only found three of the names. I'm sorry? No. What's the other symbol for that? Going the other way. A, U, A, U, A, U, U, Ow, R. Oh, is that a K or an R? That looks like an R to me. Where's R? That's an R. Two. R. Two with the stem going down. R-A-H. 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 A-Y. I thought that building them in reverse would help, and I, it, it, I think it did, but I'm still confused on why I'm missing a C for Catherine. Would the missing C on Catherine, Catherine help me figure out what's missing elsewhere? So, which one did I think was Catherine? This one? No. This one. No. I guess I didn't find it. I'm trying to write it out in cursive to see if I can recognize it because of uh, being in cursive. Interesting. S-A-H-R-I-E. 
S. Saurus. Third book is Cirrus, which I have selected. The next one over is N. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to solve these pages one at a time. Technically, I need another book. I don't want to rip out pages. Okay. <sighs> much as I hate to do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. Wish me luck. 16 of these to do. First one. It is a KH. Weird. Oh. You see the difference? The KH isn't a cup and handle. TS is a cup and handle. Ah. So, I might be able to get some of the spelling right now that I've seen my error there. That's really challenging, though. I hate that. Um, all right, back at it. No, I didn't mean to do that one. Darn it. Okay. Um, I do think 3, which is going to be serious. I'm leaving toward leaning towards 5, which could be Akinar. Six is the one I'm working on here. And once again, that's cup and handle KH. That's what that one, no, no, no. Cup and handle K. Okay, so I got that right. Uh, next letter is gonna be, look at that. that. That is a cup and handle into the corner. So that one is definitely an A, so KA. And then uh, that's gonna spin up to an S, which looks correct. Yep, S. Uh, and then that looks at least to an R, which is good. Uh, to a I, which looks correct. And then goes to a cup and handle. No, that does not go to a cup and handle. It looks like a KH. Because if it was a cup and handle, it would probably go more into the corner. What if it's not a cup and handle that goes into the corner? What would that be? <laughs> it could also kind of be an Akinar, in a way. Maybe it's purposefully un misspelled. So nine, which is on the bottom, is gonna be a cup to the left, which we decided was a CH. The cup to the right is a U. And then cup to the, uh, uh, cup and handle to the right with a glyph is a K. Cook. Chook. Chuck. <laughs> okay, that's Atris. I don't know where the U is, but I'm leaning towards that being Atris. Um. U. Yep, Atris. I found Atris. How do we correctly spell his name? Wow, it pulled a trick on me. Atrus, a Y. So it's using, uh, it's using a. Okay, well we did find it on book number twelve. Atrus on book number twelve. Cirrus on book number three. Um. Uh. Uh. Okay, I'm I'm making progress though. I'm making progress. I'm actually making some progress. Five? Yeah. I got two different answers for number five before. I'm gonna have to take a break on this one, guys. My dogs need to go out and uh, I'm not getting anywhere, but I think I'm close. So I'm probably not gonna look at your hints, but I gotta check it out. Dog needs attention, I gotta go. So keep it crispy, my friends. First Tim 412, I love you guys. I'll see you soon in the next episode. Y'all behave yourselves. Take a look at my social medias and also consider joining the channel and supporting clean content on YouTube. I greatly appreciate it. I love you guys. I'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Bye.